Hello everyone, welcome to another figure unboxing slash review. Um, I don't typically do these that often, but I thought on this occasion I might as well because this is probably the coolest figure I'll ever own. Um, this is a NECA release, and I love NECA. Um, they decided to go ahead and make a full figure for Bob Ross, and that's really spectacular. I mean, who doesn't love Bob Ross? I mean, come on. Um, I kind of had a Bob Ross craze a couple years ago when the uh, Funko Pops were coming out, and um, I also was watching, you know, the YouTube channel, which has literally all the episodes. Um, I was watching them, like, every night to fall asleep, and, yeah, I was kind of having a Bob Ross craze, but, uh, yeah, this is, like, really, really spectacular. Um, I mean, look at this, and they even recreated the uh, iconic picture right there. Um yeah, I just had to get this. As soon as I saw they announced this, I was, like, all over it. Um, they're also making a uh, pinhead, um, like an ultimate pinhead figure that's coming out, I think, next month or this month. I'm not sure when. But as soon as that comes out, I'm going to get it. Um, so I'll probably do a video for that guy. And, uh, yeah, this is amazing. I can't wait to display this. Um, <laughs> I almost don't want to open it. But, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to uh, actually, you know, get this figure and do a video for it because... It's a it's a new release and it's it's Bob Ross. I mean, come on. Um, what is more iconic? I believe they use this picture like on everything. Um, like it's probably the picture in this in this picture um, or painting, I should say, in that picture. Um, yeah, he comes with obviously some paintbrushes and the knife. Beat the devil out of that one right there. Uh, I'm not gonna impersonate him. If you want to watch an impersonation, I think I did an impersonation in the. The, the standard pop, because uh, I made a whole bunch of pops of Bob Ross. The standard one that came out first, um, go back and look at my video for that. I did a whole impersonation, the whole video. Um, it's probably not the best, but uh, you know what? I tried. Anyways, um, yeah, so I figured I, I don't know if I should open this on camera because it might take a while. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, so uh, I'm trying to see how many. Uh, you know what? Let's open it on camera. Why not? If you guys want to just fast forward, go ahead. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is a, a very cool, very cool figure. I hope uh, NECA does more things like this. Like, NECA, I'm more familiar with because they make a lot of Chucky um, figures and stuff. I have a lot of different Chucky things from NECA. Like, I have different bobbleheads and all kinds of stuff. But, um, yeah, I want them to do more things like this. All right, come on, Bob Ross, let's go. Open the top. Come on. I don't really know um, who in particular I'd like to see them make a figure for, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know. See, this is cool right here, just that alone. <laughs> they did a great job on the packaging, I gotta say. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me throw that off to the side. And like I said, he comes with the uh, bucket, uh, two brushes, the knife, the palette, and the easel, I believe it's called. So he's got um, six accessories, yeah. And the figure himself, look at that. Now, I was kind of iffy on the face at first, but honestly, I think that's the best you can do. Because, like, it's it's really hard to recreate a face um, on a toy, obviously. So. so it looks like I might need some scissors for these. All right, let me take the accessories out. Bucket. And the palette. Look how it's got all the different colors on there, too. Titanium white. I know I had to do it. I had to say that one, at least. Okay, this one's got... A piece of plastic right there. So I might as well show these off right now as I take them out. So there's the paintbrush with some... I guess that's Thalo Blue. <laughs> there's that awesome knife he uses right there. Got the uh, green right there. Excuse my calluses. That's from uh, being crazy at the gym every day. Um, <laughs> there's the bucket right there. Nice detail on it. And here's the palette up close right there. Very cool. All right, so let's see if I can get this out without destroying it because this looks kind of flimsy. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, you know, it's, it's supposed to look like this. All right. Ooh. So that's detaches I guess okay so this opens up like that and stands up like that and how does this go on 
Sorry, I don't use easels, so I'm not sure. You know what, let me refer to the box. Let's look at the uh, picture here. Um, the picture doesn't help me. Where does this thing go? Do you lay it? Oh, you know what? Okay, it goes like this, I believe. Does it connect to the legs or something? Not sure how this goes. I'm trying to like figure it out. I think it goes on like this and it might, there we go. No? It's not long enough to, or wide enough, I should say. <sighs> These pictures, hmm. Oh, okay, it looks like you put the paint bucket in the hole right there. And then, oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I got it wrong. It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to turn it. It's supposed to be horizontal like this. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll get that on there. Then these two legs clip onto this. Like that. And then you throw the paint bucket on there. That's pretty cool. Okay. God, what kind of Bob Ross fan am I? I don't have it memorized how it's supposed to look like on the show. Um, or it's supposed to go higher than that. Above the... Oh no, maybe it's supposed to sit up here. I don't know if it makes a huge difference. Let's see. Hold on. Um, hmm. Take that off. Ah! Sorry, this video's all over the place. Okay. Let's try again. There we go. So it's supposed to rest on the very top on this, on this thing here. And then the paint bucket goes right there. Okay. That's how it goes. Anyways, let's get Bob Ross out of the package here. Um, you know what? Let me grab... I got scissors right behind me. Uh, there we go. Okay. Might as well lower the camera a little bit so you guys can see what's happening. There we go. All right. I'm sure people enjoy watching this part of the video. I know it's weird, but you know what? Back in the day before I was making videos, um, I used to love... Boxes. That's why I do them. I actually kind of enjoy this stuff. All right, so got one twist tie off. I think there's only a total of two. Let's do this one. And I like too that these twist ties. They're like they're not the stupid um, other ones. It's the silver. You know what I'm talking about? The uh, hard ones that if you cut them, they'll mess up your scissors or whatever. At least that's what I heard. These ones are like a plastic that are much easier to take off. Okay, so I got part of it off. Uh, bear with me, people. Like I said, just fast forward if you want. <laughs> okay, I got the other one off. So he should be coming out of the box very easily. I'm curious about his articulation also. Ugh, there we go. All right, so he's out of the box, and wow, ooh, look at him. All right, so he doesn't want to stand up. Let me put him down. Put the scissors down. Okay, so here's Bob Ross up close. That's a pretty good face. I don't know. And I kind of wish they actually used, you know, like a real curly actual hair, but, you know, it's okay. Um, <laughs> easier to display him like this because that hair obviously would get you know, messed up over time with dust and whatnot. Um, so he's got his uh, vintage uh, light blue, light blue shirt and his jeans there. Um, his tie, or not his tie, his uh, belt. I like how everything's like an individual, you know, like it's an actual cloth shirt, cloth pants. Um, and these actually, oh, if you wanted to, you could, uh, oh, look at that. Wow, Bob Ross has a six pack. Um, now I could go further, but I'm not going to keep it G-rated, folks. Um, wow, that's interesting. I know he was actually in the military, um, before he was doing the painting thing, or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, apparently Bob Ross has a six-pack, according to NECA. So, very cool. Like I said, if you're curious about articulation, he's got a ball joint here at the wrist, so he can move it. I'm not gonna move him around too much, just because, I don't know. Um... But the arms can move all kinds of ways. The, uh, like, you know, he's got that, he's got that six pack. And then the head is on a ball joint, obviously. So, you know, they can go crazy. And then bend at the knee. The feet, um, the feet don't move that much, it looks like. There's kind of a little bit of a joint there, but it doesn't do much. So if you wanted to pose him, like, I don't know, like he's proposing, I don't know. Um, so he's got holes at the bottom of his feet if you want to get a stand or something. 
both feet have a hole. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop being ridiculous with this figure. Let me uh, pose him with this stuff. So if you want, actually, I'm not sure where you would store all these items. You could probably just leave them on the uh, easel here. So I'm probably going to have him holding this paintbrush. Oh, you know what? Um, did they get the detail right with his finger? One of his fingers is messed up or something. Um, oh, yeah, I think they did. Look at this hand. So I noticed the hand he holds a palette with. Um, I forgot what the reason was, but he lost a part of his finger. Um, I can't remember what the reason is, but that's actually cool. They got the detail right. Like, I guess it's his index finger right there that the top part of it is missing. Um kind of crazy to think but yeah that's actually true if you watch any of the bob ross clips or episodes you'll you'll see that but um anyways so it looks like the hand just goes into those two holes right there so let's try that out let's try that out i'm not sure how to go about this all right let's refer to the box again um looks like the thumb goes in the smaller hole Yeah, so it looks like you would stick the other fingers in the bigger hole here. That's what she said. I know I said I was going to keep it G-rated. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, come on. This is kind of tricky. I don't want to destroy the hand. Uh, hmm. You know, I wish the fingers were kind of articulated, sort of, so that way this would be easier. But, uh, okay, for the... To get the gist of it, you would stick the, uh, I guess, three fingers in the bigger hole, and then the thumb will go in that smaller one. If you could manage it. Hold on. I have to, like, mess with this thing off camera. Hold on a minute. Come on. Uh, I'm sure someone in the comments is going to be like, fast forward to this part of the video. There we go. I got it in. Okay. There we go. So it's in there now. Just like that. Just like that. As you would say. Okay, so bend it at the elbow a little bit. Right there. Let's have him look at you. Bend this elbow. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Let's get the paintbrush in there. I'm probably going to try to recreate it for the uh, thumbnail. The iconic uh, photo of him. Oh, come on. Stand up. You don't want to stand? Or anyways, that's good enough. Um, that's Bob Ross. I love this thing. This is, um... <laughs> this is amazing. I don't normally do figure reviews, but I guess I give them a 10 out of 10. Um, I would say, I don't know. Oh, no, he fell. Um, I was about to give him a, a 9.5 out of 10, but uh, I guess he didn't like that. Sorry, Bob Ross, you fell over. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it, uh, 10 out of 10, actually, just because I don't want him to fall over again. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. Great job, NECA. And I hope you do more real-life people um, like this. Not sure who I can think of right now, but uh, this is very cool. Um, I love this, and I don't know why he fell over. Maybe I didn't fix his legs right. But uh, anyways, that's Bob Ross. Thanks for watching this whole 13-minute video. Oh my God, sorry about that. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.